Hi everyone, uh, back again for the second day in a row. Uh, we just launched uh, a bunch of new features that I wanted to quickly show off. Uh, these are large language model features in VoiceFlow. So think uh, chat GPT, think you know, GPT-3. Uh, we have both content generation in VoiceFlow now uh, to make it faster to design conversations and create assistance, as well as some fun features to actually have your assistant be able to take over the conversation at runtime uh, and be able to uh, sort of you know, freestyle have a conversation with users, which is uh, uh, pretty fun too. So I'm gonna show both those off in rapid fire since there's a lot to go over. Uh, so first, in VoiceFlow, and this just launched to all 100,000 users, uh, actually 100,000 plus users now for free. Um, in the bottom left, you'll see this little AI icon. It is in beta right now, uh, but uh, everyone's given uh, 20,000 tokens to start for free, so we can go ahead and, and try it out right now. If you click on this, you'll go into settings and see you have uh, the ability to turn on your generative tasks as well as uh, AI freestyle. And we're gonna show uh, AI freestyle off in a bit. So, generative tasks. First, if I open up a VoiceFlow now, once uh, you've turned on AI Assist, you'll see uh, you now have this little generate button. And uh, this is going to, when you're writing responses, be able to actually generate some different variations. So in this case, I have, hi, how can I help you? Now we can just quickly have the AI go in, generate some responses. These look great, nice, just like that. I've got some different variations uh, for my assistant. Now let's go ahead and pull in another uh, text step. In this case, we're gonna say, how can I help? I'm gonna generate uh, one more response. And while it's doing that, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and now pull in a choice step. You can actually go see uh, what can I do to help. Nice, that did that in the background while I was getting sort of the next uh, thing lined up. Now let's go ahead and add an intent. So I can go ahead and do purchase, create new intent. I actually don't have an intent for purchase. And now uh, just using the name of the intent, I can actually generate uh, utterances. So I can go ahead and generate 10 different utterances. Really nice, especially if you're like me and you do not like writing utterances manually. Uh, these all look pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept all of these. And by the way, this will get better over time as you start to use the model more and more, which is really exciting. So now uh, I have uh, both utterance generation. I also have response generation. If I go up here, I can link it up, say, great, making you a purchase now. That is horrible copy, but don't mind that. Uh, what happens if I want to maybe add like a no match, right? So what happens if the user says something that uh, doesn't invoke a particular intent? Well, I can go ahead and I can actually generate no matches. So I can go ahead and generate three no match responses. Uh, sure, you know, these are a little wordy, but I'm gonna go ahead and say these are fine. Uh, I can also go ahead and generate a no reply. Uh, and so you're seeing you have a lot of uh, abilities to generate here. We also have uh, entities as well, so I'll quickly show that off. If I go into our NLU model uh, and I go into entities, create an entity, I'm gonna call this uh, shoes. I can go ahead, I can actually just generate five value, oh, that's Shies. I totally miswrote that. We'll see what it says for Shies, actually. Sneakers. Oh, there it goes. It actually completely uh, was able to find it out. It also generated the synonyms as well uh, for each of these different varieties. Look how impressive that model was. It got it even though it was completely misspelled. Cool. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and accept all these. These all sound good to me. Uh, go ahead and go back. Now, um, what I'm going to show off now, and so what I've been showing off is, is uh, large language models in VoiceFlow at creation, right? So helping you design conversations faster. Um, and by the way, again, fully accessible to everyone for free, all 100,000 plus users, super exciting. Um, what I can now go do is I can turn on freestyle. And what this is gonna do is in VoiceFlow now, if I'm gonna go ahead and test on VoiceFlow, uh, I'm gonna turn this off. Hi there, how can I help? If I just say something like hi, you're actually gonna see now VoiceFlow's uh, LLM is going to take over and actually be able to have the conversation. So I can say, uh, what color is the sky? What color is the sky? The sky is usually blue. What do you think of that color? So it's kind of fun. It's able to do some chit chat. Uh, we're still working on the prompt engineering uh, to get it um, uh, better and better for business use cases, but really cool in terms of being able to take over the conversation. And what we've done is we've actually marked it with a little AI icon on the right here, which just tells you, uh, the designer, and also in transcripts. So if I save this and I go into our transcripts here, you'll actually see, um, hey, you know, as the user is going through the conversation, maybe if you're doing user tests and uh, the user invokes a freestyle response, you just have a little badge here saying this was generated by uh, the assistant versus this was actually designed by uh, conversation designers. So a really nice system to uh, just let the designer know um, what was actually meant to be said and what was sort of a freestyle response. And so, um, yeah, 
this is uh, actually just the, the peak of the iceberg for some of the stuff that we're launching uh, this month. Yesterday was WhatsApp. We also launched Microsoft Teams yesterday as well. We didn't even get a chance to announce that. We just had too much coming out. And today was, I think there's eight different features all in this sort of LLM AI, AI Assist uh, release. So super exciting. Try it out. Let us know what you guys think. And I think uh, it's a good step in the right direction for the industry to see how conversation designers can uh, start to leverage large language models in their workflows.